Bill Payne played with Little Feet and Leftover Salmon. I'm with Leftover Salmon tonight. We're here in Solana Beach at the Belly Up. In the middle of a little run, we're heading up to Phil Lesh's place in a couple days. I've been using an SV-1, which is one of my favorites. I think sounds are what, what really motivate musicians to do what we do, which is to play. It inspires us to dig deeper into our repertoires as, as a musician and figure out how we want it to blend with other people we're, we're, we're playing with. And that's been the, the, the fun with me, with synthesizers in general. And Korg in particular. It's uh, I like quality things and I love it when people come up to me and I've had several do it because said, man, I heard you playing wherever and was I went out and bought that instrument. Or what was that you were playing? And they tell me later they went out and bought it. I've got a, a little bit of a responsibility that I, I forget every now and then. Um, as a guy that's you know, pretty well known and, uh, and and thought of in good terms as a as a player. So I want to be playing the best. I don't want to get up there and play something and people are going, God, it sounds like air coming out of a balloon or something, which some of these instruments do. And if that's what I need, I could probably find it, but it hasn't been evident on Korg at least at this point. I've got some great sounds with Korg over the years. I've I've met some of the people that uh, you know designed the sounds and. Um, so both in the studio and certainly on the road and at home, goofing around with uh, uh, recordings. I, I've, I've written 20 songs with Robert Hunter, for example, and I've, the stuff that he's heard, I've recorded with Korg at my house. I'm not an engineer, but I was listening to it the other day, it sounded pretty good. In May, um, I'm going to be back in Nashville, and I'm working with Daryl Scott. Uh, there's a record I'm going to play on. At his house, he's got, a, he's got a really good acoustic piano. Um, but I had suggested that we have the SV-1 there as well, because I know from listening to the tracks he sent, there's some good stuff I can use for that. Um, so we're going to do that. We're also doing a salute to Ben Bullington, who is a dear friend of both of ours, actually. Uh, ben was a writer. He was a doctor. He worked at the Cheyenne Reservation up in Montana. Um, we wrote a song for Stephen Bruton uh, called The Last Adios, and then Ben uh, had pancreatic cancer. Um, but Rodney Crowell and, uh, had recorded with Ben Bowington, produced a record for him. Um, let's see. And Rodney's going to be at this concert on May 19th. I'm also playing in Woodstock uh, with my good friend Larry Campbell and Teresa Williams. Um, they're my uh, home away from home in Woodstock, and we're we're using the SV1 again on that. I've also got a solo show in Connecticut. Um, I'm writing. I wrote a one tune uh, utilizing that instrument with a guy named Paul Muldoon, who's a Pulitzer Prize-winning poet. Uh, and uh, Paul has invited me to consider working on a spoken word record for my dad playing a couple things. I, uh, I think that instrument would do just the trick. So uh, uh, that's in addition to Leftover Salmon. I'm playing with Doobie Brothers this summer. Um, in August, we're playing with Greg Allman, I believe, back east for the most part. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of things. I'm not slowing down.